might not think the same way that I do. That's what I'm point. saying is there are Yes, it is your no, point. No, it is though. not the point. Your You're point not listening. is that when faced and I got to go on to someone else, ma'am, because we we've had this discussion. We're not going to move forward. We're going to have to stop the discussion because well, I'm not able to communicate. I understand that it's your tactic to make circular arguments. No, it is not it at all, ma'am. Well, not if so, then maybe you can come at it from a different angle. Read Friedrich Nietzsche, Albert Camus, Jean-Paul Sartre, any oh, of the great very, French it's very atheistic, easy to existentialist, or nihilist. To, to something it's else, real simple. Can you Read Bertrand Russell. The point is, if there is no God, morality is relative. Which means, if you murder my child, I can say from my perspective that's wrong, but from your perspective it's right. I'm not right, you're not wrong, it's all relative. That's all I've been trying no, to say. You... And my point is, you can't live that out. Not even Russell or Nietzsche could live it out. Not even Camus or Sartre could live it out. Because at the end of their lives, they kept on saying, well, what the Nazis did was really wrong. And abusing innocent children is really wrong. And finally they had to crack under the pressure of their experience of life that you cannot consistently live out moral relativism. It's impossible unless you cut out your conscience, you cut out your brain, and you just say, okay, fine, it's all relative. You just can't do it, man. But you see what's so frustrating is American university students don't have the courage to face the logical conclusions of moral relativism. Instead, they insist upon doing exactly what you've been trying to do with me now, man, for two days, which is, oh, no, 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 everybody has different opinions, and I accept that as valid. That's not the point. The point is, in reality, if morality is relative and you slaughter my innocent child, that's subjectively wrong, from my opinion, but from your per perspective, it's right. And in reality, it's not wrong. Because morality is just created in the air, up here. It's all it is. It's a creation of the fertile human imagination, if there is no God. But you don't have the courage to face that. What do you mean I don't have the courage to face that? I... Just what read I'm Nietzsche, man. He that... pours scorn on you. What you atheists love to do, Nietzsche, who's an atheist, Nietzsche was an atheist, but he points out, what you guys want to do is, you want to cut out God, God out of the picture, but then you want to get the goody-goodies from God, like objective morality, <laughs> like injustice. Okay, there are many other things we appreciate in life, but I understand what you're saying about objective morality, and I feel like we've danced around that issue a lot, but I don't appreciate you using Things like the slaughtering of innocent children and your loud booming voice and trying to make a brouhaha when you're still not making a logical claim All supported right. by evidence. Good. Okay? So we agree to I'll, disagree. I'll, I'll, okay, right. I'll dismiss myself. We agree to disagree. Thanks for your time. Of course you do.